Well, hello, hello, my amazing Leo friends. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And let's get started on your March horoscope, all right? Now, remember that this is a general reading, and it's for yours as well as for my entertainment. Now, Leo, you don't mind being called out for being a little odd or weird, even when Mercury pairs up without their Aquarius on March 4th. Do you, Leo? Right? Do you? You don't mind? I don't mind either. Now, you love attention, and sometimes it doesn't matter if you're getting it for positive or negative reasons. Because, you know, positive feedback is good, and the negative feedback will help you build yourself better. So it's like, not a total loss, because you're learning from it, right? Now, Leo, the sun enters fellow fire sign Aries on the 19th, bringing in a month of strength and competitiveness. You love to challenge your friends to games of all kinds, and you might not be a very gracious um, loser. So you might just tip over the, the coffee table when you guys are playing um, Clue or something. I don't know. And that's okay. We all get that way sometimes. You've got a lot on your mind, I can see. Now, the way you see it, if you're not first, you're last. And that's okay to be last sometimes, too. Okay? Now, powerful Saturn also enters eccentric Aquarius on March 21st. So you're ready to end the month by fighting for the things that you truly believe in. Whether you're defending your own personal beliefs or protecting an underprivileged group at large, you're not going to give up before you get what you want. Period. End of story. All right? Now, there's a fortunate Venus-Jupiter trine on the 28th, which can help you mend any stressful relationships. If you're having an argument with friends or contemplating breaking up with your boyfriend slash girlfriend or mate, think of the things that drew you together in the first place. Is a little tiff worth throwing away all the good times? Because you know you don't want to be one of them, them couples that make up, break up, make up, break up, and then involve your family and, you know, it's a mess. Because, you know, when, when you're with your significant other, I'm pretty sure when they go home or... You know, you don't want them to go and talk crap about you and then their family hate you, right? Just like you shouldn't do that with um, your significant other, especially if it's just a tip. Okay? So when me and, me and my significant other are having issues, what we do is we work it out together. We don't bring everybody else in because we don't want outside interference. And then, you know, a lot of people, if you talk crap about their significant other, they'll just go back to their significant other, whether they're abusive or not. You know what I mean? It's just like a reverse psychology. But other than that, you're going to have a really great week. So, or a month, I mean. Sorry. You're going to have a really great set of weeks. <laughs> so, um, thank you so much for listening to me. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me, Libra Empress, for tomorrow's daily horoscopes. All right? Bye-bye, my friends.